everything about Games Workshop's 40K 10th edition playtesting is wrong. <laughs> Everything about how Games Workshop does their Warhammer 40k 10th edition and Age of Sigma rules playtesting is wrong. And here's why. So it turns out all the time that it would take Games Workshop to produce a balanced set of index cards, a new codex, or a battle tome book is insane. They don't have that big of a uh, team of playtesters. And honestly, this just gives more credence to the fact that Games Workshop needs to crowdsource this to be genuinely balanced on release day for new faction books. Depending on who you ask on the internet, open sourcing the rules and playtesting may be what Games Workshop basically did with the new index cards for Warhammer 40k 10th edition. It's impossible to say for sure, as we haven't seen the points costs for any faction yet, the competitive chapter approved rules for tournament play, or any potential FAQs to fix known issues up to the launch of the 10th edition. In essence, we're still looking at all of these rules in a vacuum. But what we have seen so far raises some of the same questions that have plagued 9th edition since 2020. Everything about Games Workshop's Warhammer 40k 10th edition rules playtesting is wrong. A lot of this just boils down to simple math, and from that, you can see that without outside help, it may be literally impossible for Games Workshop to actually make their rules balance with each other over time. Here's how much time it would take to test one army. Just a note, we're going off three hours per game, which is pretty average, especially when you have to factor in play testers who wouldn't know the book very well and would be trying out a bunch of stratagems and special rules. We're also doing the math for 25 factions to play test against in Warhammer 40k, which varies depending on how many Space Marine codexes, etc., are out there at the time. This is 450 hours already, but remember this is against a single army list for each opposing faction as you can't change their list while changing other variables about the game. So this is in no way done as the vast majority of Warhammer 40k factions have two to three viable lists. Now when you extrapolate that out to include a max of three viable lists for each faction, you end up with 1,350 hours. Then again, this isn't enough. As dice rolls can vary over a game, mistakes made by players, etc. Honestly, it could be closer to 2,000 hours of playtesting to get a good gauge of how an army works. However, even this is still missing something. Changes. What happens if the playtesters find out something is either too strong or too weak? You then have to go back and make the changes. Then guess what? You have to retest everything once again. So the total number of hours just becomes staggering. Games Workshop may have a dozen internal play testers for Warhammer, plus a few more that they can trust outside of the studio. If each person played two games daily, six hours of just playing, they would be broken into six teams, which means 12 games a day and 36 hours of play testing a day. So if those people did nothing but play tested Warhammer 40k, it would take about two and a half months of testing. Now this doesn't seem too insane, but remember this is if they didn't make a single change to the codex and didn't rework anything at two months a book, this seems pretty impossible with the current codex release schedule at this point. This leads to a solution though, since Games Workshop just isn't putting that amount of time into playtesting. We think they should crowdsource this either through the GT circuit, which could put us back with months of research and FAQ attempts to fix armies, or just do three months of open beta testing where the community could give their feedback and they would have thousands of games to go on instead of hundreds or dozens. Instead of the small playtesting pool games Workshop has now, this would give Games Workshop tons of data to make a final informed decision about the codex. Plus, they usually mention new book releases about four or five months out anyway. This has a ton of benefits, such as balance. People would get more hyped for the release and give longer lead times for people to save their hobby dollars for the book. Plus, it would help Games Workshop from having to do these early and somewhat scrambled FAQs that have been so off-putting as of late. Would this be a good way for Games Workshop to do codex releases and Warhammer 40k playtesting for armies going forward? Let us know in the comments of our Facebook hobby group and make sure you enter the latest monthly giveaway for free today. 